You just got your new Zoom keyboard with an LCD module, but now you're wondering, how do you use it? I'm here to help make that process a little easier with a step-by-step -step guide. Big thanks to Meltrix for all their support. And though this video isn't sponsored, I have been in contact with them in order to provide the best explanation I can and ultimately to help everybody out. You guys ready? Well, let's get started with the main feature of the LCD being how do you add GIFs and photos? So starting out, you'll want to go to Meltrix.cn on your mobile phone because you're going to need to download the app called Pocket Wucha. Once the site is loaded, you'll click the drop down menu and make your way to this link that says mobile software download. So it won't default to English, but it will be fine to download. Just click the longer one or translate the browser. If you Since I have an iPhone, I'm going to go ahead and select this one. You follow the prompts and eventually you'll see it download. Once it's done, you'll see a menu pop up and you'll want to click the choose device button and sync it with your board screen. Afterward, go back and click the upload animation button, customize, and then your photo gallery should pop up. From there, you'll pretty much want to pick whatever you want to pop up on your screen. If you need help picking what you want to put on your screen, an easy way to get an animated GIF is to go to Giphy and search something that you want and save it to your phone. With this feature, you can upload any photo or GIF you like as long as it you know, fits within the box. <laughs> you can even go in and change the speed of the animations and cycle through multiple. Moving along, there's also a way to add notes into your notebook screen as well. It's super easy and helpful if you need to give yourself a little reminder during study sessions or just when you're typing throughout the day. And that's pretty much it for those fun features. Now this is where it gets good. You're probably cycling through the screens wondering like, how do I get my computer temperatures and what is this little running dog anyway? Well that little dog running is actually your typing speed indicator. <laughs> if you want to make them run super fast, just type like a madman. But anyways, let's walk through how to sync your PC to your Zoom 75 or future Zoom board LCD. So there is a driver program that you're going to want to download. Going back to the Melatrix.cn webpage on your desktop computer this time, if you use Google Chrome, you can actually translate the page if you like and make your way to support and software. That's where you can access the driver program. You'll want to copy this link into the URL bar and it should download, but I'll also put it down in the description. Once you open it, click this to install, pick your directory and you're set. <laughs> now open up the program, allow permissions and select English as your language and confirm. Then you'll go to display settings. From there, your board should begin to show the readouts. As you can see, everything's pretty much populated. If you still need help learning the buttons to actually navigate the screen, you'll use the function key with delete to toggle it on and off. And to cycle through the screens, you can use the function and page up and page down buttons. And if you have any more issues with your screen reading your temperatures, you're gonna wanna go to A to 64, extreme, hit file, then click preferences. That's where you'll be able to check and make sure everything is turned on for Wucha Studio, the program to read from. You automatically you should have date and time already clicked in if not click those scroll on down for me i clicked nic one connection speed to kind of get a little bit of the network speed sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't you're going to want to head to temperatures though you want to click cpu and cpu package that'll definitely get you uh the, the cpu temperatures then go down to gpu whichever one works for you i click gpu one which has been working ever since cooling fan make sure that cpu is clicked and that should be pretty much it man go ahead and hit apply and okay and you'll be good to go for all those wondering the weather page for the lcd is not something that we can currently customize there may be an update in the future but as of now it's just not something that we can adjust a lot of it has to do with the fact that a to 64 which is kind of like the middleman that sends the temperature information to the lcd doesn't have any support for local weather but either way everything else will work out just fine my favorite part is definitely the ability to drag and drop different GIFs and images in there anyways. And that's the guide. I hope it helped out in one way or another. If so, make sure to hit that subscribe because if you don't, we might not see each other again. Especially since I'll be one of the first to review the next board that Melatrix is releasing in the Zoom keyboard line. So stay tuned for that later this month. My name is Zeke of Zeke Digital. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.